in 2011, um, we acquired Small Dog Rescue, and um, that meant taking over the operation of their 34-year-old dog shelter. And when we examined the building, we discovered that it was in need of some major renovations. And we started at that time to think about the things that we would want to do to provide a better quality of life for the dogs that come through the shelter. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do was to provide outdoor uh, opportunities to get the dogs outside, give them some green space, let them run around and play and, and be dogs. Um, the current limitation is that uh, we only have one concrete slab that the dogs go out to. So um, our goal uh, was to provide them an opportunity to be outside, experience some fresh air, have some enrichment activity, which is so important um, to develop them and prepare them for adoption. Uh, we also wanted to maximize the use of the space. Uh, we wanted to increase capacity. Um, we wanted to make the space be more um, efficient for the shelter operations and be more inviting um, for the public that comes to visit there. Uh, we currently have one meet and greet room, and so our goal was to provide more space, um, open, up the, open up the shelter more to the public, have them come in and have them uh, have their own space where they could interact with the dog that they're considering for their family and um, creating more meet and greet rooms where they can, um, without distraction, uh, get to know that dog and see if that's the right fit for them. We, um, we wanted to provide natural light. It's very important that animals uh, experience natural light in, in their environment. And so what we want to do is uh, increase the natural light in the shelter by adding windows um, in the back uh, kennel area. One of the uh, problems that we wanted to address is also the, the acoustics. Um, it's, it's deafening when you've got 40 dogs barking at once. Well, studies have shown that um, acoustics are very important in animal sheltering. So we are, uh, want to redo the ceilings and provide um, better acoustic control and, and prevent some of the damage that can be caused um, when, when acoustics aren't, aren't being handled properly. You know, our goal is to provide um, opportunities, enrichment opportunities, and prepare, properly prepare animals for adoption. Part of that is um, socializing with the dogs, uh, inviting volunteers to come in and work with the dogs and train them and get them prepared so that we can um, experience the best um, possible match for them. So that when they get adopted, it's going to be a successful uh, match and, and adoption and that dog is going to uh, enjoy their home for the rest of their lives. Very exciting to have a uh, surgery room on site so um, we're going to be able to provide uh, medical care on site for the dogs. It goes beyond uh, the current vaccines and, and exams but actually do spays and neuters on site at, at our shelter. Um, addressing uh, an erosion problem, an existing uh, erosion problem that we have on the property. Choate will be um, taking care of that problem um, for us and creating more parking space so that when, when visitors and volunteers come, we have space for them to, to park on site. We, um, we were very fortunate and blessed that um, our need was communicated to the Choate family. Miller Choate visited um, our shelter and looked for himself uh, at, at the shelter and, and saw the great need there. And around that same time, um, the Choate family experienced um, the loss of their beloved uh, pet of 13 years, Sadie. Um, and his wife, Sue, uh, was grieving. And he was seeing his wife grieve and, and wanted to do something that would make her um, feel better uh, about the loss of, of Sadie and memorialize Sadie and, and yet encourage uh, others to be able to experience that loving connection. So through, through that grief and pain, um, he decided to give uh, an incredible gift to our organization and allow us to facilitate the, the much needed renovations um, that we need to do at the shelter. Preparations for the renovation have been a huge undertaking. Um, 
for the organization, especially our wonderful volunteers that have worked tirelessly to plan uh, and facilitate the move out of 28 dogs into foster care. Um, during the eight weeks that we will be renovating the shelter, all the dogs have to be relocated. So our volunteer team has worked very well together to coordinate um, that effort and also uh, purging and packing items for storage, uh, breaking down the kennels and cleaning them and, and prepping them for storage and then, then we'll be moving back in and the volunteers will help us uh, set up our operations again so that we're fully, fully operational with this beautiful new facility. Fur Kids is the largest uh, no-kill animal shelter in the state of Georgia, and we care for over 700 cats and dogs on a daily basis. Uh, we are good stewards of the gifts that we receive, and we maximize those gifts by saving and helping uh, as many uh, animals as we can. As evident in just the size of the organization and our, our annual budget, we do an excellent job um, of, of maximizing the donations that, that we receive. Um, our commitment is to quality quality of care. The animals that come through for our kids receive the best medical care. It is a very loving environment and our goal and commitment is, is to the adopter that's coming through. We want to make a connection with them. It is very important to us that we, we be um, good matchmakers, that we're providing um, the best opportunity for these animals in, in their home. Um, and our goal is to provide the best environment that we can. While they're waiting for their home, um, we nurture them, we care for them medically, we provide every need that we can. We have a vision to do more, to do better, um, and to provide for them um, in the way that, that would uh, enrich their lives while they're with us. And there are some that, um, that we adopt, that we rescue, that, that no other shelter will take, whether it be diabetes, um, or maybe they've had a leg amputated or an eye removed. We take those that, that other shelters will not, and we're committed to them for their lifetime. And our goal is to provide the best quality of life for them that we can. And we want the public's help. We are so excited um, with the grand opening, reopening of our dog shelter, and we're so grateful to Miller Choate and his family, Sue and Emily and Katie and Sadie, for making this possible, and to everyone that has donated to make this, um, this possible for our dogs and the people that will come and serve them and the adopters that will come and adopt them like Tess.